Hello there guys, Illusions here and welcome to episode 1 of my Fallout 4 Power Armor Guide. In this episode I'm going to be showing you the best location to find Fallout 4's best and most rare power armor, the XL1 set. Before we jump in, please note that the XL1 power armor spawn is level based, so I suggest you be at least level 30 or so, or the armor will not spawn in the locations shown in this video. Let's get started. So the easiest way to obtain the XL1 set that I've found so far, is to travel to Atom Cat's Garage, which is found southeast from the castle and far southeast from the Prudwin. When you've arrived, find Rowdy and take a look at her shop. Rowdy is the only NPC I've found so far who sells random sets of power armor, and the best thing about her is that she also sells X01 pieces. When you've bought what you're looking for, sit on a chair nearby and wait for two days. This will make her store restock and you'll be able to buy even more pieces of armor. If she isn't selling any X01 armor, don't worry, just sit on a chair again and wait for two days. She will stock up on it eventually. For the next location, travel to Good Neighbor. When there, head directly east and you'll find an unmarked building called Court 35. Go inside and use the elevator to reach the top floor. A sentry bot and an assault drone will spawn from two small rooms. Once you've destroyed them, head into those rooms and press the red buttons to open the center room. If you're a high enough level, you'll find a set of T45 or T60 power armor inside. However, this armor set is bugged. Head up to it and it should say there's X01 pieces on the frame, not T45 or T60. Enter the power armor and the suit will change to X01. For the third set, travel to Jamaica Plain, which is located southwest from the castle. Once here, head east, southeast until you come across a pond under a freeway with an APC inside. Go under the water next to the APC to find the next XL1 frame. For the fourth set, head to Natwick Police Department found southwest of Diamond City and west of the Mass Fusion Disposal Site. Once here, travel directly south down the road past the Red Rocket Garage until you come across a Brotherhood of Steel checkpoint. An X01 frame can be found in the centre of the checkpoint next to the tanks and APCs. On to the fifth location, you'll want to travel to Murkwater Construction Site. Found southwest from the castle and directly east from Vault 95. Once here, head west until you come across a crashed Brotherhood of Steel Vertibird. Kill any enemies nearby and you should find the next frame next to the Vertibird. For number 6, head to the Abandoned Shack, which is located west of Vault 95 and north of the Crater of Atom. Grab the key from the suitcase in the shack and head into Installation K21B. When inside, head to the bottom floor and the next set can be found on a power armor station behind the set of stairs. For the seventh location, you want to go to South Boston Military Checkpoint, located directly west from the castle and southwest from the Pridwin. When you're here, head to the west side of the bunker to find the seventh set inside of a locked cave. Use the terminal to unlock it. And number eight brings us back to Good Neighbor found east and northeast of Diamond City. Spoiler warning here for those who haven't yet been through the Bobby No-No's questline, stop watching now if you haven't. When you're inside Good Neighbor, head through the town and go down the back alley until you find the entrance to Bobby's place. She'll greet you at the door and start you off on a new quest. Continue doing this quest until you begin breaking down a cave with Sonya. Break down the first wall and clear the next room of enemies. Once inside the second room, tell Sonya to break down the eastern wall. Once that's done, head inside and you'll find the final XL1 frame. And there you have it. Those are all the locations in which I've found the next L1 set in Fallout 4. There are more than likely a few more locations, however I'm pretty sure I've collected the lower level variants, as you can see from my current power armor warehouse. Like I said, don't bother going after any of these until you're at least level 30 or so, or you will just find random T51 and T45 sets. 
since the XL1 is for higher level players. But yeah, as usual, if the video helped you, since I've seen a lot of people wondering where to find the armor, please leave a like. It helps a bunch. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.